The Bainier Stillwater goes green and further expands its proprietary battery metal strategy and recycling activities with a second transaction. This is an exclusive put option agreement to acquire 100% of the Zandouville hydrometallurgical nickel processing plant in France for approximately 65 million euros. The purchase is an important step in achieving a further downstream position in the battery metals value chain and aims to build a leading battery metals platform in Europe. In addition, Zibani Stillwater delivered another solid operating performance in the six months and the 30th June 2021, underpinning strong financial performance, ensuring leverage to higher pressure metals prices and offsetting the impact of the 13% stronger rent against the US dollar. Both earnings per share and headline earnings per share are expected to increase by over 138% in the first half of 2021 compared to the first half last year. This is due to higher production from both PGM and gold mining operations in South Africa, a higher average PGM basket price and lower outstanding debt, resulting in a decrease in finance costs. The company also reported that total first half production in South Africa increased 41% to nearly 930,004 E ounces, while US production was flat year over year at nearly 300,002 E ounces. A suspension of operations due to safety measures in June cost 20,000 ounces in output, it said. Gold production from South South African mines reached almost 520,000 ounces, up 29%. So all signs continue to point to growth and profits with dividend payouts steadily rising. The point and figure chart has also found a bottom and looks like a good entry point. We see the first target at 20 US dollars with a longer term view of around 34 US dollars for the US listed shares. The dividend yield should push into the 8% annual yield regions this year. I'm Jochen Steiger, Swiss Resource Capital AG in partnership with Tukas Copy TV. Thanks for watching us and bye-bye from Geneva.